Hello, welcome to another Gold Milk Soup. This is the very first episode of my Python series. So I'm going to be teaching how to program in Python 2. And this assumes you have no prior knowledge of programming at all. So this assumes you're starting from scratch. This is also Python 2, not Python 3. There are differences. There are some, I, there are some slight syntax differences with Python 3, and it is incompatible with Python 2. The developers did this on purpose. I'm not sure why, but this has been done. We will be focusing on Python 2. So, uh, you, in order to code, you need a text editor. So, there are some to choose from if you're using a desktop environment, uh, a whole one. Doesn't matter which environment you're using, just know how to access the tools in your environment, whichever it is. Get it should be supplied with GNOME, Kate should be supplied with KDE, Mousepad should be supplied with XFCE, and I believe the LeapPad should be supplied with LXDE. So use what you want. If you want a good console editor, then Nuno is a good one too. Uh, you can add in mouse support and make it a bit more graphical. That's also a good text editor. I use Vim. I like to use the GUI version um, for some various reasons, but I like Vim. If you want to learn it, it is a bit much to take on while you're coding. I learned this before I started digging into coding, so this was what I did use when I started learning to code, but I already knew what I was doing. You'll find that when you learn the program, it is a bit difficult to find things out. Your mind could be stretched a bit, so throwing text on top of it on top of it may not be the best thing for you, but if you really want to learn to use VI, then go for it. I personally like it. Uh, there's also Emacs, which has a higher learning curve, I believe, and if you want to use that, go ahead. Just get a text editor you want to use. Now, uh, for Unix and Unix-like systems, um, BI is just about on every single distro. I'm not talking about them, I'm talking about BI. That's on just about every single distro. I can only think of a few off the top of my head that don't have it by default. But if you take a look at Unix and Unix-like systems, you're essentially guaranteed to have BI on every single Unix system and on some Unix systems, that's your only editor of choice. So that's also another thing to keep in mind if you're going, if you're trying to go into the field. Uh, then it might in the Unix world, it could be wise to learn VI. If you're just a casual user, then you don't really need to know VI, but it's a good text editor, I can tell you. So text editor is very important. This will be your instrument for coding. So learn it and love it. I'm going to show you get it because this is a good GUI one I've used before. So the default preferences are something like this. Um, highlight front line, highlight matching brackets, make your tab with four, insert spaces instead of tabs, enable automatic indentation. I like auto saving so I don't lose my work. Some, now you can change the look if you want. Some good plugins, you got change case, file browser panel, you can insert date time. Um, I like this Python console, click open, but basically you turn that on, and I think it's F9, no. There we go. And shell puts from another plugin, but here's our Python console. We have a Python shell, so that could be useful uh, later on if you choose to use get it. But for now, I want you to pick a text editor you can use that you can love and you can understand. It. And don't be afraid to ask about it, but get a text editor you like, and that will help you while you're programming. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Soup. Next episode, we're going to dive into some Python programming, so stay tuned for the next one.